Why David Grush is wrong. That's right. We're going to talk about why David Grush is wrong about the government being silent on UFOs and not even just being silent, but lying about it. So get in here. This is Jack with Cosmic Road. I talk about UFOs and the paranormal. Please hit like, please subscribe, please share on social media. And let me guys know what you think in the comment below. Yep, this is uh, my third day, my third full day in Rome. I'm still kind of... Uh, uh, gimpy, uh, my leg is, is not doing great, uh, but I am going to go to the Vatican today. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be able to walk around and do anything, but I'm just going to find a place to sit and observe and see what it looks like so I can actually have gone to the Vatican. Maybe I'll discover Mussolini's UFO while I'm there. Who knows? Although I think that is actually in U.S. custody. That's uh, our best evidence so far, uh, but the uh, Vatican did know about it. And uh, they are the ones that alerted the U.S. to its presence. And then we seized it in 44 or 45. Uh, but yeah, anyway, getting on to why David Grush is wrong. So yeah, I was watching a recent episode of Chris Lado. And uh, he was talking about, he was showing some clips of David Grush. And David Grush was saying, well, the reason why the government has lied about this for so long and kept this uh, a secret was from low energy thinking. And, uh, you know, it wasn't because any, for any nefarious reason. It's just that they didn't think people could handle it. They didn't want to deal with it, uh, et cetera. And then Chris Lato gives his own take, uh, which is that it's actually not that, that it's actually more profit related. You know, they are, you know, probably working with the big contractors, Lockheed Martin and all that kind of stuff, which of course they are the control group. Uh, and, uh, you know, that is in the inner, in the energy sector and all that is a huge factor. And, you know, if this technology came out that it would disrupt, uh, their, their power. And, you know, I'm sure that that is a factor, you know, absolutely. Uh, but I think it goes well beyond that In fact. It does go well beyond that. The evidence, uh, points to that very conclusively as far as I can tell. I mean, if you, if your research has led you down a different path, let me know what you think in the comments below. Uh, but by all the evidence that I've seen, uh, the UFO control group is working with the beings, or at least has in the past worked with the beings. They are shooting at UFOs. There's so much evidence of that. Uh, I made multiple videos about that. So check those out. Uh, that's just a thing. They shoot at UFOs all the time. Sometimes they use conventional weapons. Sometimes they use energy weapons and, you know, fancy stuff. They may have reverse engineered or uh, acquired uh, from beings. Uh, and sometimes they're actually able to bring these UFOs down. But yeah, they are actually working with some beings, uh, seemingly against other beings. How do we know they're working with beings? Well, from different sources, there's a, a whole a whole wide range of sources that give us that information. Uh, a lot of that comes from UFO abductees uh, who see uh, aliens or non-humans, the beings, uh, working alongside military and government officials. And that is just has been going on for a long time. And, you know, they are taken somewhere underground sometimes or to a, a ship and they are seeing the beings working alongside humans and assisting in these abductions. And that's right, the control group it seems to be helping the beings and abducting people, and they have for a while. We don't know why, we don't know what they're doing, uh, what they're getting out of it. Uh, you know, they do have some high technology, they're flying around in their own UFOs. Is that part of it? Um, you know, we, we just don't know. We don't have any information, we need transparency, we need to know what these guys have been up to. That's a huge reason why we need official UFO disclosure from the government is to pry open these vaults and the, the secrecy and see what they're doing. See if we agree with what they're doing or not. And, you know, we probably don't. Um, but yeah, so the UFO abductees, there's a whole bunch of them uh, that have seen the military and government officials working alongside the beings in these abductions. Um, unfortunately, that's all too common. So other sources uh, are, you know, various whistleblowers. Uh, I made a video uh, sometime back about a Lockheed Martin Skunk Works engineer um, uh, who back in the 60s, he was working on the, uh, the Blackbird, the SR-71 Blackbird. He called it his baby. And, uh, he said he, and so he was in Lockheed Martin Skunk Works 
And of course, Lockheed Martin helped build Area 51 um, originally. They have been in this for a long time. Ross Coulthard name dropped them as a, uh, as a company that likely had a UFO. And of course, they probably have multiple. Um, but yeah, so uh, he was not directly working on UFOs or anything uh, UFO related, but his fellow buddies, his fellow engineers in Lockheed Martin Skunk Works were working with beings uh, who were helping them develop training devices and training them in how to fly our own UFOs or the control group's own UFOs. And uh, they seem to have been doing that since the late 50s or 60s. And yeah, so, uh, and, and there's uh, other sources uh, as well uh, corroborating that, that general idea. And uh, then there are, you know, uh, you know, cases like, you know, Terry, Love, Terry Loveless, a uh, veteran, a very uh, uh, credible guy. Lou Elizondo called him uh, credible. And uh, Terry was taken aboard a giant UFO um, it, uh, it was bigger on the inside than it was on the outside, and it was giant on the outside. And uh, yeah, he saw, you know, uh, uh, beings, he saw military uh, people uh, serving as crew members aboard this giant UFO alongside the beings. They weren't passengers, they weren't just, you know, hitching a ride. Um, they were actually, you know, pushing buttons and doing things on this ship. Uh, actually, 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 functioning crew members aboard a giant UFO, and I think those were Air Force people. So, uh, very interesting, right? And uh, then there is, of course, the the Haim Shed stuff, right? The Israeli Brigadier General, a founder of the um, partial founder. Sorry, I'm showing something. Partial founder of the Israeli space program, and um, uh, he says that there is a galactic federation and that various government leaders know about it and have been on some level working with the beings or are aware of some alliance or, or treaty with the beings. And uh, that uh, Trump wanted to come out and reveal this to the world and that he was talked out of it. Now that's kind of hard to believe that he could be talked out of something like that, but he was talked out of releasing all of the JFK files. He, he wanted to release all that stuff and at the last moment, he, he didn't pull the trigger and he didn't do that. Uh, I think that's because it would have been very damaging to the country because there probably were very, um, you know, the CIA. <laughs> I'm, I'm not going to pull any punches. I think, you know, that's probably, so, so some powerful forces were involved in that. And some level, I don't know exactly at what level, but some powerful forces uh, that are still extant today uh, we're, we're very likely involved in that in that situation uh, in some capacity, and that revealing that to the public would be damaging to the nation. Um, so um, yeah, that's that's my take. If you have a different take, let me know in the comments below. But anyway, uh, so yeah, so he was talked out of that one thing. So I guess it's theoretically possible he could be talked out of something else. Uh, but Hayima Shed's claims although he is a very credible person or very outlandish. However, this idea of the Galactic Federation is something, uh, you know, we hear all the time. I mean, uh, UFO researchers, uh, you know, it comes up a lot. You know, alien abductees, uh, experiencers, out-of-body experiencers sometimes uh, will uh, deal with this Galactic Federation. And of course, I guess it makes sense, right? I mean, if there are aliens, there's going to be multiple races of aliens, uh, you know, coming from different places and, you know, different dimensions potentially. And they're going, they're going to have to have a bureaucratic structure to work together, uh, possibly for common goals. So, uh, yeah, so that's the, you know, so whether that exists or not, who knows, but it does make sense that it would exist, right? Um, so anyway, that's multiple sources of, you know, uh, you know, corroborating this idea of we are working with the beings, uh, so that is why I think David Grush is wrong uh, about the government secrecy and lies on this issue. It's not low energy thinking. It goes way deeper than that, in my opinion. Uh, but let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And if you've enjoyed this special Italian edition of Cosmic Road, Give me a big thumbs up. I sure would appreciate it. Smash the like button. Smash the subscribe button and the bell to be notified of future videos. 
you don't want to miss a thing. Join me on social media, Facebook and Twitter links below. Love to see you guys there. If you wanted to support Cosmic Road in a bigger way, please hit this, uh, the membership button. Become a channel member. Channel members are rock stars. Thank you guys so much. And I will see you guys next time. This is Jack with Cosmic Road signing out.